another hard workout. That I thought held yeah. them on we a good side. Um, too hard, wasn't it? Yeah, we um, obviously the lads played sixty um, on against Tina, so obviously we wanted to rest the majority of the lads today. So obviously the first half, well, first sixty minutes was kind of like a trialist team really. So yeah, but no, the lads put a good shift in. Um, didn't implement what we asked uh, yesterday, which was a bit frustrating for my point. But you know, at the same time, you know, when you put a group of trialists in there, it's always difficult. They're trying to earn a contract. They're trying to impress. So you know, I couldn't stand that. I guess it's more individual performances and, and you're looking for a bit of a team shape, I guess. Yeah, um, well, especially for us in the second half, the lads that come on, obviously our sign lads, um, it was about minutes for them, so getting them 40 minutes. Um, obviously they had 60 on Saturday and then obviously we looked to give them 60 um, this Saturday. So that's what it was about really. And just have a look at the trial list, see if they can impress um, and see if they could probably retain some of the information that we give them from yesterday. So, yeah, and that's what we're looking at. A couple of new faces and a couple that we've seen quite a few times as well. Yeah, there's a, there's a couple of lads that have been with us um, from the start of pre-season. Um, they've impressed, they've done well, um, and they'll be with us moving forward. And there's a couple of new lads that have come in. Um, obviously, I can't mention them <laughs> for obvious reasons. But, you know, they'll be with us over the next couple of weeks. The bigger picture of pre-season at the moment, how do you think it's shaping up? Yeah, it's good. Obviously, we're looking at players. Um, obviously, we want to get our squad sorted soon. It would be nice. So, um, obviously, we'd, we've lost two um, in the last week or so, just obviously for financial reasons and um, they didn't want to stay which was fine so obviously that's why we've had some fresh faces today but now we're getting there we've, we're speaking to a few players and um, we're looking at some options so you know the squad's coming together on the positive side the season tickets are on sale so hopefully the money's going to start start coming in a bit and uh... yeah buy some tickets <laughs> no no it's great it's, it's it's nice that the fans have got something to look forward to i think that's the biggest thing so the fact that the club have put season tickets on sale means if there's something tangible now fans can get hold of something and know the season's starting on obviously october the third and obviously the fixtures are out today so it's another reason to go and buy some tickets what did you make of the fixtures uh, early on yeah to be fair a couple of people have messaged me and said it's um, not a nice start but no I think it's great I think speaking to the lads some of the lads are not playing at this level and I think if you look at the fixtures what they are those probably four or five fixtures probably encapsulate what the league's about you know from top to bottom to middle so it's, it's a really good it will give the lads over the first you know, month or so, really good insight into into the league. Um, I guess it's a cliche, but it's uh, every game is a tough game in the in the national league north, isn't it? Yeah, I mean Southport away is, is is always a tough place to go. Especially I've been there a few times on a cold December night when it's windy, so it's always a tough place to play. But everywhere is, you know. So for us, it's one game at a time. Obviously. FA Cup first and then obviously going into in Southport away but you know we'll take each game as it comes and yeah it is a cliche but you know the lads are focused and, and, and we'll get there Looking ahead to Saturday trip to Western and yeah. another tough test Yeah obviously they've got a few lads that we know very well so <laughs> I'm sure there'll um, they'll be a few tasty tackles but no um, it's a good test they're, they're, they're a football inside you know that's what we want to be and that's what we are and that's what we'll be going into the season so it'll be a good test for us and you know obviously their season is pretty much ready to kick off so again it's another test fitness wise for the lads Talking of fitness, obviously there are a few injuries, but talking yeah. to Burry after the last game, players are starting to make a comeback, doing a bit of running. Yeah, at a snail's pace, yeah. <laughs> now they're getting there, look, the lads have had five, six months off. So, you know, it's, it's to be expected that, you know, we come back in, we're training that tempo, and, you know, they're picking a little niggle. So we're kind of wrapping them in cotton wool, I suppose, because we haven't got you know, a squad of 20, so we have to be mindful of that. So there's some lads that probably could have been involved today, but, you know, we feel that probably giving them another week or so, they'll be, you know, where, where they need to be. So, yeah, but we're getting there. Um, Toe's on his way back, Lenny's on his way back, Dan Jones on his way back, so, and obviously Finney didn't play tonight, so he's on his way as well, so we're, we're not far away. Brilliant. Thanks no problem. Time. Cheers. Josh, how um, close are you to making a decision on some of the trialists, or are you going to give them a bit longer? Yeah, we spoke to a few of the trialists, um... So there's been a few decisions have been made and obviously there's some fresh faces in today so we'll look at them um, and we'll look to hopefully have a look over the next couple of weeks see if we can get something sorted. And um, like you say, the, the first teamers that are sort of watching tonight they're yep. going to start filtering back in I'm guessing next week or two. They, they better do. <laughs> <laughs> no, they'll be, they'll be there. We're getting there. Like I said, you know... We, we're training at a tempo. Um, you know, we've had such a long layoff, and they've had little niggles and injuries and calf strains, and obviously a few little knee problems. So, you know, we've just got it's pre-season. We've got them for about four, three, four weeks. So, there's no point in rushing them back. And that the first, the first month of the season, will it sort of tell you any gaps you need to kind of plug with any players that are floating around at the time? Yeah, I think. Um, at all, all levels really you know you, you've got your squad you go into the season and then you probably have a look first 10 games where you're going to be and then, and then you think you know is there areas we can improve on and I think that's been 
you know, for when I've been a footballer, all, all the levels have been the same. So, yeah, they, they definitely will show up with some things. And that's where, you know, you probably delve into the loan market and, and, and look at options there. And you couldn't ask for a, a broader range of 10 games no, to, no. To, to fit that out. <laughs> all the travelling across the country. <laughs> so there's a bit of a trouble there. But no, yeah, it's brilliant. I, I like it. You know, you go to, to obviously Southport, to Yorks, to Spennymoors, to Bradford Park Avenue, to guys. There's, there's a mix of everything in there and it's, it's a good start for us. Great. Good. Brilliant. Thank you. Thank you, guys. See you Saturday. See you Saturday.